Round six of the 10 round national road series, the Bowman Trophy over 187 kilometers. Matt Holmes, the series leader, leading the riders out on the 49th edition of this event. And the climb of the Riles would be undertaken on a total of four occasions by the riders. Quite the winch up for the likes of Thomas Mean of Tartaletto, Isarex, and the early points being scored in the King of the Mountains indeed throughout the day by Isaac Mundy of the Richardson's Trek squad. He and uh, Rob Scott clear of the field. The final time of asking up and over this grippy one and a half kilometer climb that has uh, done so much to shape the fortunes of riders in this event over the years. Scott and Mundy clear of the field. Scott for the Team Wiggins Lacol squad, the under 23 rider, just uh, 20 years of age, his third year on the team. In the company of Isaac Mundy, the much travelled uh, Richardson's Trek rider. And those uh, three riders joined once more again by Mean, but it was uh, a long lived break, but not to last all the way to the line, despite brave resistance from Scott and friends. It was St. Piran on the front at the moment that the a group were finally retained inside the final lap of 22.2 kilometers. The race based in and around Stamfordham has become a staple of the British road racing scene over the years, and it's a must win for so many riders. Uh, more attacks assembling off the front. Dan Bigham, Mark Christian, and Damien Clayton leading a, gripe, a group clear. Rory Townsend and Pete Williams wanted to get involved. Townsend of the Canyon DHB squad in the company here of Pete Williams of Swift Carbon drawing themselves up to uh, Bigham, Christian and Clayton from Ribble Pro Cycling, Wiggins, uh, Lacal and Andy Moore Auto Centres respectively to make it a quintet in the closing stages of this event hard charging work from all of these riders, Williams the elder statesman of the group, Townsend on flying form after a string of strong results, a couple of victories already in this series and uh, Damien Clayton riding along in the wake of the others towards the conclusion of the event seven riders in total assembling up front and it would be Callum McLeod doing some solid work John Archibald too for Ribble Pro Cycling trying to set it up for Dan Bigham and Bigham's late late effort inside the final kilometre an attempt to hoodwink the others perhaps catch them out but he didn't qu uh, manage to establish any advantage over Rory Townsend and Pete Williams they remained welded to the wheel of the track superstar with Mark Christian trying to desperately to get back on terms towing Damien Clayton and the others uh, at the back, McLeod and Archibald, after their great lead-out work, well, they were just going to ride along in the wake. It would be Bigham that would uh, take them into the closing stages with Townsend in the dark blue colours of the Canyon squad, waiting to launch his trademark sprint. Pete Williams knowing which wheel to pick up, and the leading trio never quite retained by the time they came to that uh, finishing sprint. That would lead it out, but Townsend that would launch inside the final 200 metres and nothing was going to stop the Irish rider as he rode through and uh, across the line to take his third victory of the series and move up to third overall. Williams in second and a superb job by Damien Clayton to get up for the final podium position.